Hello, hello everybody. This is Monty with Flowers by the Bunch. So, today I need to put together the bride's bouquet. This bride has chosen all white flowers. We're going to use white hydrangeas, white standard roses, white spray roses, a little white lisianthus, and lots of beautiful greenery. I'm going to start out this bouquet by using an armature. Um, you've seen me use an armature a good bit with bridal bouquets. The reason I really, really like them is because it keeps your flowers from being all on the same plane. A lot of times, if I use my hydrangeas as my armature, um, everything gets real tight and real compact. If I use chicken wire as the armature, it's going to help me give it some more depth. So, this is just a piece of chicken wire. I, I just cut a small piece um, from just a roll that I picked up at, I think it was at the tractor supply. And so, I took that piece and I just kind of rolled it into a little pillow. And now, let me tell you, you don't have to use chicken wire as your armature. You can buy um, a pillow or a little plastic armature that you can buy from your wholesaler. I have found chicken wire is our, my most price effective. Um, it's just such a good price. Um, you can use it and it goes a long way. And so, I've made just a small pillow out of um, my chicken wire. Now, you have to be a little careful with the chicken wire because it bites. And so, my flowers, you have to make sure that you cover the wire, um, the wire base really well. I'm going to start out with some white hydrangeas. I have taken these hydrangeas and removed my foliage or most of my foliage. I'm going to have to remove some. So, I'm going to take these hydrangeas and I am going to run those stems right down through that wire base, okay? Goodness, my nose is itching. I'm taking that stem, just working it right into that wire base. And so, you can see how it's already holding my flowers um, apart. They're not all um, tight in a clump because most of the time, when you do just a traditional hand type bouquet, they're going to be really tightly held together. Now, if you find that your hydrangea has any petals with a bump or a bruise, just pinch that right out and you'll never know. Um, I'm removing any of the foliage just because um, it's going to help with its hydration. It'll stay hydrated better if you remove your foliage. And so, I'm just pinching all of the foliage back. You have to be kind of careful when pinching it back. You don't want to break your hydrangea. Okay, so that's a pretty good um, southern wad. <laughs> it's just kind of a, it's just a bouquet of hydrangeas. That's five stems of hydrangeas. I brought in some extras just in case. I don't think I'm going to need those. So that's five stems of white hydrangeas. Next, I'm going to come in with some standard white roses. So, I, the wonderful part about the armature is I can lay that down and it's all going to stay together. I'm going to pull my roses. Um, I have already stripped down all of the foliage, but now what I'm going to do is pull back any petals that don't look pretty. I'm going to remove those. Now, when you're working with bridal flowers, you want to make sure that your stems don't have any thorns so that they don't bite the bride. Um, just kind of be sure that your stems are clean and easy to hold without hurting anybody, right? So, I'm just taking and removing any of the petals that aren't pretty. The reason you need to make sure that you remove anything that's bumped or bruised these flowers really, the bridal bouquet really gets an up close picture. And so I always like to make sure that it's picture perfect. Um, so when working with those flowers to wear and flowers to carry, be sure that you remove anything that has a bump or a bruise. If it's bruised, it, it would be better in a large bouquet where it's not going to be the centerpiece, the focal. Um, and white tends to have, it easily bruises. And it's not so much that it, it's 
more prone to bruise. It's just that white shows bruises. And so that's why I'm being sure to remove anything that might have a bump or bruise. Okay, so I removed all of those guard petals and anything that's bumped or bruised. I've got my bouquet in my hand. I'm gonna take those roses and just work them right down into that bouquet. Now, I didn't wire the roses. Um, it, I don't know that it's necessary to wire them. If you want to wire them, you certainly can, but I did not wire any of these roses. And I'm just taking those stems and I am just working them right down in to that armature. Now, the bouquet that she chose was a very compact bouquet with hydrangeas and roses. I love lisianthus, so I thought that lisianthus would be very pretty in this bouquet, so I chose some of it. But I'm just taking those roses and running them right into that chicken wire armature and just holding them with my hand. And you can see how I'm kind of twisting and turning just so that I can work them right down in. And it's okay if some of them don't hit that armature. It's not a big deal. Just as long as they're tied together in your hand. All right, so I've just about got all my roses in place. And the wonderful part about this is I can take and, and if like this one's a little deep in the arrangement, I'm just very carefully adjusting him and pulling it out just a smidge. Now there's all my white roses in place. You can see how they're all in place. Next, I'm gonna come in with some white spray roses. Now, I'm not gonna use many. The reason I like the white spray roses is it's going to give me a little bit of a different texture. And that one had a, had a bump on him. Um, it gives us a little variety in size, which I really like. So I'm just kind of taking those and tucking those in. Okay, so there's our spray roses tucked in with our standard roses. And next I'm gonna come in with a few Lysianthus, stems of Lysianthus. Now, Lysianthus reminds me a lot of a rosebud, but it's an open rosebud. I just like that they're delicate, pretty little flowers, and I really like their um, buds. So I'm gonna tuck just a few of these stems of Lysianthus in here. Now Lysianthus comes in lots of pretty colors. It comes in shades of pink, it comes in white, it comes in an ivory kind of a creamy, almost a butter yellowy color. So pretty, I'm gonna take that pop it. Um, purple, shades of purple. It comes in a royal and then a lavender, which is really lovely. And you can see I'm kind of holding this bouquet up against me. It just kind of helps me to hold it and be able to put those flowers into place. Okay, so there's my Lysianthus and my roses, spray roses, and my hydrangeas. This guy's sticking out a little bit, so I'm just gonna push him in. So I always like to stand back. I like to hand a bouquet to my to a helper and let me stand back and look, but it's pretty, it's round. I think it's just right. So next what we're gonna do is, this bouquet calls for lots of eucalyptus. And so, I am going to tuck that bud right in. I'm going to lay my bouquet down, slide my flowers over because I've got plenty of flowers in place. Next, we're going to use some eucalyptus. So, the eucalyptus that I have, which were in the pictures, is 
seeded eucalyptus and silver dollar eucalyptus. I'm taking my knife and I cut the rubber band on my uke. And I have two bundles of eucalyptus. I'm not gonna use this much, but I really loved the seeds on one of them. And I love the leaves on the other. I know that's it, silly, but. And then I also have some silver dollar eucalyptus. So let me show you what we're going to do. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and take a few stems. It's a really large stem. I'm gonna take a few stems and go ahead and strip it down. And lay it to the side. So it's kind of prepared, so I don't have too much of a mess down, down in my hands. So you can see how we have some pretty pieces. two steps so you can see I'm kind of going through okay so there's plenty of the seeded and then here's some silver dollar don't use we can always use in some of the larger arrangements okay so I'm going to push this greenery back over here to the sun here's the greenery with, that we're going to add so when adding your greenery you want to go all the way around your bouquet I need to make sure that I'm covering all of this wire because I don't want that wire to show okay so I'm going to take my greenery and I'm just going to lay it right underneath those hydrangeas, just right there. Oops. So see how that greenery is starting to come around that bouquet. So I'm just laying it right under my fingers, right under in my hand. Now some of this seeded eucalyptus, because it's kind of heavy, I'm going to run it right down into that hydrangea, into that armature, so it's not dripping too, too much. See how it's kind of heavy? So I'm taking it and stripping any of that foliage. I'm taking it and pushing it right into that hydrangea. I'm just going to slide it in so that it's not too heavy. I'm just working it down in. I'm going to turn my bouquet. Whoops, I just popped a little rosebud, so I'm going to make sure that that stem, there we go, that that stem's removed. We don't want the stem to show. Okay, so there's our greenery all the way around our bouquet. Next, what I'm going to do is I am going to tape my stems. So I'm still holding my bouquet. I'm still holding it because all of my um, eucalyptus is going to come apart. I'm going to take, I'm finding the end of my tape. I'm going to take that tape and I'm placing it right under my thumb. I'm going to hold the bouquet and I'm going to come around with that tape. Now, here in our shop, I like to tape a bouquet. 
I know that there are other florists that use wire. I can remember years ago when I worked for another florist, we used wax covered um, string. I just find that this tape, I have it all the time. It's readily available to me. And so it holds it tight. I'm just going around and around those stems several, several times so that it's going to hold it together. Then I will come and I will, I will cut off my stems. I'll wrap my tape with some pretty ribbon and secure that ribbon with some corsage, corsage pins. Um, and it will be my finished bouquet. So this is our bride's bouquet. We will make um, seven bridesmaids bouquets that are going to look very similar to this bouquet, just in a much smaller scale. Um, but that is our finished hand-tied rose and hydrangea bouquet. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me today. Um, if you have any questions about how we design here or any questions about where we get our flowers from, please Please don't hesitate to ask that down below. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We try to have new videos two or three, four times a week. Um, and check us out over on Facebook. We also have a Facebook page where I go live we, um, every day during the week. And we also have a Shopify page so you can um, shop our wreaths and different things that we have available. Guys, have a wonderful day. We'll see you real soon.